Hi, thanks for joining us today. I am Sarah Campbell of Soso Studio, and we are a Janome dealer and a fabric store and sewing studio right outside of Athens, Georgia. Um, and today I wanted to introduce you to some of our favorite machines that we have here at the shop. So we deal Janome machines and Elna, they're sister companies, and um, we have the full line of Janomes and we have a few Elnas as well. Um, and we love the line, they're really great machines, and, and they have a lot of really nice features at really great pricing and are very easy for our customers to learn and to pick up. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the professional series of machines. So I have a couple here um, that all kind of look similar in their, their basic structure, right? So they have a nice big powder coat base to them. They're hefty machines. They're um, stable on your table when you're sewing at higher speeds and they all have this nice throat space in them as well. Um, so this one in particular is the, is the Janome Memory Craft 6700P, and the throat space in this machine is about 10 inches from your needle over to the right side. And so that gives you a lot of room for working on those quilts and doing some, some quilting and some free motion and things of that nature. Um, and these machines have powerful motors in them. These two right here sew at 1200 stitches per minute, which is, is pretty fast and they have a lot of punching power to them. So they're great for some of your heavy duty projects as well. So this one is the 6700P by Janome. And then this one over here is the Elna version of that machine. It's the Elna Excellence 720 Pro. So you'll see a couple of differences on the face of them, mainly in the coloring and some of the stickers that you've got. You know, with the Elna, you have this nice ruler across the bottom and it's a white face and it's got red writing. This one over here is, a, is the Janome one. It has a silver plate across here. Um, there isn't a, there's not a lot of difference between these machines other than the presentation on the front of it. They both have, they're interchangeable in terms of when you're buying accessories for the machine. The parts are all the same inside. It's just this is the Janome version and this is the Elna version. Um, so I'm going to talk mostly about this one and then I'm going to tell you about a really, really great price that we have available on these for a limited time. Um, but we'll start here with the 6700. So this machine is fantastic in a lot of ways. It, like I said, it's strong enough to do your heavy duty projects and it also has enough finesse to do your lighter weight fabrics and your quilting projects and things like that. So it comes with this nice big foot pedal, which is a really great feature. Um, it's easier to find under your table and tends to stick around under your foot more. The other machines that don't have a foot pedal of this size, you know, you can upgrade to a foot pedal of this size. You can purchase one of these for some of the smaller machines in the line. So just to know that's an option if you don't have one of these. Um, and then this is the accessory case that it comes with. So it's this nice big box, has everything highly organized inside. So we've got a tray here with a bunch of feet in it. Um, and it comes with a lot of your standard feet that a lot of the other machines have. So we have a rolled hem, we've got a blind hem foot, an overcast foot. So this is if you're doing some home decor and you want to overcast the edges so it doesn't fray when you put it in the washing machine. The blind hem foot and the rolled hem foot are for uh, the edges of different projects. So the blind hem foot is for hemming your dress pants and the rolled hem foot you can use on making napkins or doing a baby hem on some clothing, stuff like that. Um, and then it comes with a zipper foot and this is a button foot. You'll never sew a button on by hand again if you get a machine that has one of these. And you can get one of these for additional to a, a lot of the machines in the line. But we're gonna do a whole nother video one day on your buttonhole and your button foot. So stick around for one of those, but this is the buttonhole foot on this machine and they're automatic buttonhole feet. So you put the button up in, in the top here and then the machine knows how big to make your buttonhole. So we'll go over those in more detail at a later date. And then let's see, oh, we have some satin stitch feet up in here. These are the ones that you use for decorative stitching. So this one has a closed toe. Maybe if I scoot it up here, you can see it a little better. And this one has an open toe, which I really like for doing applique. I have a lot more visibility there. Um, this one comes with a quarter inch foot, which has a flange on the side. These feet also come in a version that doesn't have that flange on the side. So if you wanna pick up one of those as well. 
Um, and then let's see, this is the free motion or darning foot that you're probably used to seeing on a lot of, on a lot of machines, right? It's a hopping foot. And then it also comes with one, it's called a convertible free motion foot. And this one, we can change the height of the foot over our project. And so if you're quilting something, let me grab this fabric back here. If you're quilting something that's thicker and we can put the foot on to the fabric, it, we can raise the height of the foot over our quilt project to keep it from breaking threads. So if you have, if your foot is too low on the fabric, it'll break threads. And if it's up too high, then you'll get skip stitches. So this little knob right here allows you to raise and lower the height of the foot over your project. So we're gonna do another video on free motion as well someday where we can get you guys some more information on that. Um, but that foot has some different, it's convertible, so it's got some different feet to the foot, I guess you would say. There's an open toe and an echo. Um, but this is one I really wanna talk about today. So this is the AccuFeed foot. And AccuFeed, this machine right here, the 6700P and the Elna version, the 70, 720 Pro, both come with AccuFeed foot. And the AccuFeed system is something that they've added to the higher end Janome machines that it's, it's kind of like a walking foot on steroids. So it's a little bit, um, it's more accurate than your standard walking foot and um, has some other advantages too where we can convert the bottom of it and we can change the speed. So. If you don't know what a walking foot is, a walking foot, so normally we have these feed dogs underneath the foot on our sewing machine that feed the fabric, right? And so a walking foot adds feed dogs above your project as well. So then you can get it to feed the top layer of your project at the same rate that the bottom layer of your project is being fed through. And what that does is that gives us a much more accurate um, well, not accurate, but when we when we sew down the length of a quilt, our fabrics aren't rubbing against that foot and sort of separating as you get down. So it, the AccuFeed is really, really great for that. I'm looking for the screwdriver so I can, there it is. So I can take the ankle off this foot and put the AccuFeed foot on, right? And then I'm gonna show you how this works in particular. So I've taken off the regular foot and the ankle just leave those there. And then I'm gonna put this one on. So the AccuFeed foot has a hook in the back of it, right? And this hook actually hooks onto the motor, um, hooks into the motor that controls the lower feed dogs. So when you, when you add one of these feet to your machine over a regular walking foot, you get a lot more accuracy. So we're gonna just screw it on to the side over here. And then after I get it screwed on to my presser foot bar, Let's see if I can do this real quick. After I do that, then I'm gonna reach around to the back and I'm gonna push on that little screw and it's gonna click into the system, okay? So it flicked right in, popped in. I know that's hard, Priscilla's trying to get you guys a view of it. Didn't get, um, it. Didn't get a view of it. So we'll, we'll take it off and put it back on again. So there is a hook in the back if I can get this thing off. Okay, this little hook right here. So after I screw it on to the machine, these things are always harder to do when you're being filmed, by the way. So I'm gonna screw it onto the machine and then Priscilla's gonna bring the camera around to the back and this little hook right here, I'm just going to press it forward and it snaps in, right? And now I know that the foot is engaged and ready to use. Okay, so I don't have this machine threaded yet. Watch how easy this machine is to thread. So I have upright spool pins in the back of it, which I really love for cones of thread. Um, and, and I just think that it's easier to have two, two spools of thread when you wanna wind a bobbin and that sort of thing. So it's, the upright spool pins are really great. I like that feature on the Professional Series. I'm just gonna come here and then I'm gonna go back here and here and slide it around. And it, it threads very similar to a lot of the other machines that you guys are used to. But the thing that I love about it is all of the high visibility that I have here above my needle area. 
So I'm gonna bring my thread behind this thread guide and behind this thread guide here. And then I've got a needle threader here and I can see the needle threader and I know that my thread is in the proper spot. And I'm gonna lower my presser foot and then I'm just gonna pop that down and my needle is threaded. Okay, another great feature. Um, all right, and I think I've got, do I have bobbin thread in there? I do not have any bobbin thread in. Let's steal one from over here. So it's an easy load bobbin system. Just slide my thread under this handy little guide and around here and it snaps the end off and I'm ready to roll. Okay, so I've got my machine threaded. I've got the AccuFeed foot on the machine and engaged and ready to go. And then I've got some fabric here. I've got a sandwich of just um, some batting in the middle of a couple of layers of fabric. And I really like, like I said, this is a great foot for quilting, but I really like it for hems and, and bag straps and things too. Anytime you're doing a really long straight line, you don't want your fabric on top to be rubbing against your foot and to sort of like get separated as it moves down. So this is a really great foot option for a lot of different projects, not just for quilters. But I'm gonna go ahead and lower my presser foot. And then as I sew, and let's slow it down so you guys can see the action of that foot. So the feed dogs on top are rotating with the lower feed dogs in sync and it's pulling the top layer of your fabric at the same rate that the lower layer of your fabric is being pulled by the machine. All right, and now the other nice thing about this foot, let me speed it up a little bit and I'll show you guys a little bit faster there, okay? The other nice thing about this foot is you can actually change the speed of these feed dogs relative to the speed of the lower feed dogs. And you do that, there's a knob over on the right side of the machine and it's called a differential setting. It's right here. So think about if you had a project where this top layer of fabric was like a knit or something kind of stretchy and the bottom layer of fabric is a quilt weight cotton. This might, you might actually want the top layer to feed a little bit faster than the bottom layer so that they're in perfect sync when you get down to the bottom. So to do that, you can change your differential speed over here and that changes the speed of your upper feed dogs relative to the speed of the lower feed dogs, which is not something that you get in a regular walking foot. So that's pretty spectacular. I'm gonna use my thread cut button right up here on the machine and cut that thread and pull it right off and look at that nice, straight, beautiful seam. Right, front and back. So this machine, let's see, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is how fast this machine is if we put it on full tilt. So this machine sews at a maximum speed of 1200 stitches per minute. And I don't know if you noticed, but that machine didn't shake at all when it was going um, at that high speed. So that's a really nice thing about this professional series of machines. Beautiful stitching. And then the other thing I wanted to tell you about the AccuFeed foot, I'm gonna take it off so that we can see this a little bit better. The other nice thing about AccuFeed, and AccuFeed is available on this model and it's available on this 720 Pro over here and some of our other lines as well, like the Skyline series, the 9450, the um, Continental M7, all of those have AccuFeed built in as well. So it's not just the professional series, but it is nice. Okay, got all my pieces parts. So this, I call this the boot on the foot, this piece right here, and we're gonna snap that right off, right? And you can actually convert this to be a ditch quilting foot or a quilt piecing foot, your quarter inch foot, or a straight stitch version. So it comes with all of, or it doesn't come with, but you can purchase all of these additional boots that you snap on and you can convert your walking foot, your AccuFeed walking foot to a quilt piecing foot. That one has the quarter inch guide right there or a straight stitch foot um, or there's a ditch quilting version. So there's lots of different options there 
for converting this foot to a, um, to be useful in different projects, okay? And then this one, you can also purchase a narrow version of your AccuFeed foot. So that's the narrow version right there. And it's got a nice narrow width, so you're doing top stitching or you're on a narrow strap, something of that nature. And you can take this one off and you can put on this one over here. Oh my gosh, it's not in the box. Oh, that's the wrong box. <laughs> okay, so we can put this one on over here. And this is the zipper foot for AccuFeed which is really cool. So if we're putting a zipper on a duffel bag or some sort of a very long um, zipper, long zipper seam, we would put that on there, okay? So that's all about AccuFeed. Um, we love the AccuFeed system. Again, comes on a lot of the different high-end machines, um, but the, the in particular, the 6700 and the 720 Elna both have that. Um, the other machine that I have sitting right here, let me get this back on before I forget. This other machine that I have sitting over here, this is the El Nita EF72. And the El Nita EF72 is in the same family as these other machines, but it's a little bit less expensive because it does not have AccuFeed and it does not come with an extension table, um, and it sews at, ten, at 1,000 stitches per minute as opposed to 1,200. Um, so there are some differences in this machine and this machine, but this is also a shop favorite because it's at a really good price point, um, and we are loving this mint green color across the top. But again, it's got that nice big throat space, and um, you can add features like a knee bar you can purchase an extension table to go along with it. And it has tons of stitches and alphabet, like it's big brother and big sister over here. Um, all of that is available on this machine as well. Let's see if I can get that back in the guide up there. Okay. So the uh, let's go back to the 6700 for one more minute. And I wanted to show you what else it comes with. Um, two more, two more items, and I know it's getting a little crowded on my table right here, but that's okay. So we've got these two extra needle plates that the machine comes with, and both this one and the 720 Pro both come with these two extra needle plates, okay? So your needle plate is what goes over your bobbin right here, and on these machines, it's really easy to release it. There's a button right here that you push, and the needle plate pops right up. Okay, so this is the normal needle plate that you get on your sewing machines and it has a wide open needle drop hole right here, which allows the machine to drop the needle in any one of, I think 91 different positions on this machine. And to do, when it can do that, then it can do all those really cool decorative stitches, right? And it's a nine millimeter maximum stitch width. So you can do really nice, pretty decorative stitches. They're nice and, and tall on your fabric. When you get into these other needle plates here, so this one's called the straight stitch needle plate. And the difference here, you can tell that the needle drop hole has been divided up into three smaller sections. So when you put this needle plate on, the, um, the machine recognizes it and it locks you out to a certain number of just straight stitches, okay? So it's only gonna allow you to do these straight stitches because if you did some of these decorative stitches, you'd be stitching your fabric to the needle plate. We don't wanna do that or breaking a needle. So the machine is going to recognize it and lock you out to those straight stitches. The advantage of this straight stitch plate is that when you're piecing your um, quilt blocks and you have like triangles or you have, you know, you're trying to start next to the edge of your fabric, you ever get your fabric that just kind of like dives down into your uh, needle plate and gets stuck down there, like the needle pushes the corner of it down and it gets jammed up down in there. This keeps that from happening and it's, it's really great for, um, delicate fabrics too, like if you're sewing on a chiffon or a silk or something like that. So that's a straight stitch plate. This one actually comes on all three of these machines come with a straight stitch plate, okay? The two on the right, the 6700 and the 720, also come with what's called an HP needle plate. And this one is designed to be used with the HP foot. Grab that right there. 
And the HP foot is a, is a foot that's really like solid. It doesn't rock back and forth. It's got nice, um, you know, quarter inch measurements for on the left and on the right and forward of where your needle drop is. Um, and this one sits over on the left side above where your thread comes off your bobbin. And because it does that, it gives you a really straight, beautiful top stitch. And it doesn't rock. And so if you're like top stitching on a leather handbag or you know doing something of that nature, this is an awesome foot to have and an awesome plate to have. And the combination of those really gives you like a beautiful straight stitch like, like, um, like everybody is wanting these days, okay? So that's this combo and that comes on the 6700 and it comes on the 720 Pro, but the El Nita EF72 only has the straight stitch plate and not the HP plate. So there are some differences which result in a different price point and a little bit of savings if you go down to the EF72. Um, but I really don't think you can go wrong with any of these machines in this series. Again, I started sewing on a, on a professional series machine 10, 12 years ago, and it's still the one I have at home. Um, I love the space on it. I love the lighting and I love the features. Maybe my favorite thing about it is when I'm ready to start sewing and I have my stitch, you know, I pretty much when I sit down to a machine, I know the different, I know what I'm going to do on that project, right? So I know what stitch I'm going to do and I know what width I want it to be. So I can dial, I can very quickly dial up the stitch that I want and change the width and the length of it with these two knobs right here, rather than having to dive into a, a iPad looking LCD screen, touch screen and, and finding buttons there, I can just very quickly and easily change my lip, width and my length. And then you do have favorite stitch settings on this machine. So you can save a version of every stitch on this machine. You can save your favorite width and length settings for that particular stitch. So when you turn your machine off at night and turn it back on the next day and working on the same project, you don't have to remember that you had your width set at 8.3 and your length at 1.8. You can just go back to your straight stitch and the machine has remembered your favorite stitch settings for that, for that stitch. So that's super handy. In fact, all three of these machines have favorite stitch settings and we're gonna do another video on favorite stitch settings and show you how that works on um, a couple of different machines. You can do that on the Skyline series and some of the others as well. So we'll get back to that one. But I told you that I have a very special price for you on the Elma six, uh, 720 Pro. It's a newer machine for us to carry in the shop, although we have had the 6700 for years. So we are very familiar with the machine and the capabilities and, and how to use it. Um, we love it. We got these because they are classroom machines. So they were used one time at a show and then um, still are sold as new machines in terms of warranty. So you get a machine that's been kind of like used for one weekend at a, at a quilt show under the supervision of an instructor. And then it comes to us and we get to sell them to our customers at a very discounted price. Um, and you still get all the brand new warranty with it. it. has all the accessories, they're in great shape, they sew wonderfully, there's absolutely no reason in the world I can think of that you wouldn't wanna come snatch up one of those at that great price point. Um, I can't tell you what that price point is, you have to come into the shop and um, see it in person, but we would love to have you in and love to show you the machines and let you try them out. We're a try before you buy kind of a shop, so we'll get it out and give you some fabric and let you thread it and you know do some test stitching if you have a project like some leather or some vinyl that you're working on at home and you want to see just how heavy duty these machines are bring it in and let's try it out and let's sew on something that you're sewing on at home and, and that way you can really see what you think about it okay so come see us and ask about the professional series or anything else that we've got in the shop and stay tuned because we are going to do videos on favorite stitch settings and how to do that buttonhole and button foot um, we'll do some free motion and talk about the convertible free motion foot a little bit further. Um, and that's about all I can think of today. If you have other ideas for videos or you have some comments for us, just leave them in the comment section um, or give us a call here at the shop and we would be happy to talk to you more about what your next machine might be. Thanks so much for tuning in.